Okay, let's try to sort all this out. Metal Gear, would you mind helping out? Not at all. Now projecting recorded video images. Gibson calls in and you two immediately head for the abandoned factory in the M District. But when you arrived, Gibson had already been killed by someone or something at the factory. From hair and skin samples recovered from his body, you determined that the perpetrators were two snatchers, one male and one female. In addition, from a floppy disk containing notes from Gibson's investigation, you discovered that snatchers have a crucial defect. Gibson was apparently killed because he had learned about this weak point. And this weak point is a key difference between them and real humans. Their artificial skin cannot tolerate ultraviolet rays. Long-term exposure causes it to become cancerous, a form of melanoma. This severely limits the places and times that they can operate to midwinter, when daylight hours are their shortest, and of course at night. And it looks as if it will take at least six months for them to develop a new skin which overcomes this fault. So their biggest weak point was that they had to keep themselves protected from ultraviolet rays over the past six months. Hmm, Gibson really put his earlier training as a science cop to good use in figuring this one out. And that's why they use plenty of sunscreen, even in the middle of the winter. As a result of this, it becomes clear that there is one thing they must have to continue their survival. And that is medical facilities, where they can treat artificial skin which has become cancerous. And it appears that Gibson may have located a hospital used for this very purpose. In an effort to determine where Gibson had been investigating, you analyzed his stomach contents, found buffalo meat, and headed to the only place in the city that serves it, Outer Heaven. Isabella Velvet, a dancer at this place, gives you a description, which allows you to put together a montage of the man Gibson was trying to track down. You then ran this montage through the city's data bank, using Jordan. And that gave you two suspects, Ivan Rodriguez and Freddie Nielsen. But from the condition of Ivan's skin, you determined that there was no possibility he could be a snatcher. There was no evidence at all of melanoma. But as he was in possession of Liquid Sky, you turned him over to narcotics. Following that, a search of Freddie Nielsen's home turned up large quantities of sunscreen. Nielsen's wife, Lisa Nielsen, turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of her. And you confirm that the skin cells found under Gibson's nails were from Lisa. Freddie Nielsen also turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of him as well. The hair sample that was found in Gibson's hand is confirmed as being from Freddie. So you are able to determine that these two snatchers, Freddie and Lisa, were the ones who killed Gibson. But then we have a problem. The bounty hunter who saved you, Seed, Random Hajil. An investigation uncovers that the information he provided when he filled out his bounty hunter registration was completely false. So who is this guy, friend or foe? What about the bank account he was having his bounty deposited into? It was a common account used for paying bounty, and the funds were retransferred from there. We couldn't learn anything from it. Thank you, Metal. And now for the real fun. The hospital that Gibson had tracked down. If we can hit that, we may be able to shut down this snatch operation of theirs. Or if we can find some kind of patient records there, we may be able to find them quite easily. So, Little John's memory might provide us with an important lead. That's right. If we're lucky, there may be something left that we can work with. Navigators record everything that Junkers do, just in case. Just in case, huh? Well, this looks like one of those cases. Harry should have recovered it by now. Go see how he's doing. Seed, I'm counting on you to find this hospital.
About time you got here, Gillian. I've got Little John's memory all ready for you. Were we able to get anything from it? Just relax. I'll put it on the monitor for you now. I'm afraid it was almost completely destroyed beyond recovery. Those snatchers, they sure do a thorough job. What do you mean? Wasn't there anything left? Like I said, just relax. I was able to get one video image out of it. I don't have the slightest what this is, but it's definitely got something to do with Jean's investigation. This is it. So, Gillian, do you uh, have any idea what this is? Hospital Olean? This is almost certainly the snatcher-controlled hospital that Gibson was looking for. You ought to run the name through Jordan, but uh, if that hospital is not legit, the data won't mean anything. This city is packed with unregistered hospitals. The sign in this picture looks curved. This word Olean might continue past the edge of the image. I've stored this image. You can view it at any time. Just use the graphic memory command in the possessions menu. Wait a minute, you're no Santa. Uh, how'd you guess? What are you doing in that outfit? What are you talking about? That's it! Ugh, I'm quitting this job. It's too dangerous. Somebody's after me. I'm gonna end up dead, just like, like Gibson.
and I'll keep any snatchers off your back. They're after both of us. You better worry about watching your own back. Ah, uh, by the way, here. A little Christmas present for you. What? Tissues? See ya. Merry Christmas. Well, now he's gone. No surprise there. He's got plenty of reason to be scared. Besides, I got the information I needed. There's an advertisement on the back of that pack of tissues. This is an ad for Outer Heaven. Just how many different jobs does that guy have? Bet I surprised you, huh? Don't worry, this is just a tape. I'm at work right now. If you need to reach me, please call Neo Kobe Pharmaceutical Labs at 391009. Sorry to scare you. Bye! Good afternoon. Neo Kobe Pharmaceutical Labs, may I help you? 
Oh, Gillian, what's up? ramen shop over there. Why don't we grab a bite? It does not appear that any tables are open at the moment. We will have to wait. Hey, 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 I got a table opening up over here. Have a seat. That spot looks good. Let's take it. All right, boys, what do you have already? Give me four of these. What? Two? Two will be plenty. That's all right. Give me four. Really? Two? Two will be more than enough. And a bowl of ramen, too. Would you listen to what I'm trying to tell you here? My wife's always telling me, boy, you really have an appetite. <laughs> Let's just eat and then leave this place. Come on, Gillian, hurry it up. Come on. Mmm, good stuff. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Thank you. 
It is improbable, but this is their skin cancer treatment center. Looks like we barked up the wrong tree here. So, uh, now we're back to square one, huh? Don't become too discouraged. We still have many leads. Let's head back to the turbo cycle. Hmm. Olean Hospital. Unfortunately, this wasn't the place. You're right, Metal. Okay, let's go. Gillian, it's the emergency line from HQ. I'll connect you. Gillian, I'm glad I got you. I got a call from Katrina. She said she has something she needs to give you. Something to give me? What in the world? She seemed really scared. Kept saying that Alice was barking. When did she call? About 30 minutes or so ago. Damn. Gillian, we should hurry. Yeah, Katrina's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 